There's no man called Quraysh. Who is Quraysh? Lots of opinions. And it appears that uh, there are three people who can be called Quraysh. And some scholars have said there's the big Quraysh, the middle Quraysh, and the small Quraysh. Al Quraysh al Akbar, Al Quraysh al Awsat, and Al Quraysh al Azgar. So three people have this title. But two of them are the real contenders. And that is number one is Fihr, and number two is another. Fihr and another. Going back to the lineage, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, ibn Abdul Muttalib, ibn Hashim, ibn, ibn, uh, ibn Abdul Manaf, ibn Qusay, ibn Kilab, ibn Murrah, ibn Ka'b, ibn Lughay, Lu'ay, ibn Ghalib, ibn Fihr. So number? Number? 11. 12. Number 12, Fihr. Fihr. Ibn Malik, ibn Nadr. Or number 14. So either 12 or 14. One of these two is Quraysh. One of these two is Quraysh. And they say... That another is the big Quraysh and Fihr is the middle Quraysh. And Qusay, who is five generations, is the minor Quraysh. So three people had a founding role in the tribe of Quraysh. But the actual descendants of Quraysh, uh, sorry, the actual tribes of Quraysh, all of them combine at Fihr. And Fihr is the twelfth. Twelfth. So the stronger opinion, the one person who combines all the tribes of Quraysh, and one simple fact here, uh, that uh, the ten who were promised Jannah were all Qurashi. They were all Qurashi. Who is the one ancestor, the closest ancestor? It's Fihr. The ten people who were promised Jannah, Ashra Mubasharun, if you go back to their lineage, you keep on going, 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 it's actually Fihr where they all combine. So, the ten people combine at Fihr, so therefore it seems to be Fihr is the person who is Quraysh. And all of the tribes of Quraysh, how many tribes of Quraysh were there at the time of the Prophet ﷺ? Probably around 12 or 13 sub-tribes. So you have the Banu Hashim, the Banu Zuhra, the Banu Makhzum, all of these tribes we've kind of talked about here and there. Uh, the Banu Umayyah, the Banu Abd Shams. These types, they're basically around 12 or so tribes, and uh, they all go back to Fihr. So uh, Quraysh, what does it mean therefore? This is a laqab, a, na- a name. It's not his, it's a title, not a name. What does Quraysh mean? A number of opinions once again. One opinion is that uh, Quraysh comes from the term to trade. Because the Quraysh were, were involved in trading. Another opinion is that Quraysh Yaqrishu comes from gathering together. Because the Quraysh were in different areas and one of their ancestors combined them in Mecca. We'll come to the story very briefly. And a third opinion, uh, which is narrated in, in, in Al-Tabari, that Quraysh comes from uh, conquering. Because there is a story, a long story, where uh, one of the Quraysh basically uh, conquered, or, you know, long story. And then they say this is why he is called Quraysh, that Quraysh will conquer other tribes. Whatever the point, whatever the meaning is, this was the laqab that stuck with Fihr. And so the descendants of Fihr are called Qurashi. And uh, therefore all of the tribes of Quraysh go back to Fihr, who is uh, 12 ancestors back from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.